Hi, this is Jason Murth, Product Manager for Cooling Systems for U.S. MotorWorks. Today we're going to be talking about water pump replacement and engine cooling system restoration. But before we get started, let's take a few minutes to discuss safety. You want to have some shop rags laying around, some safety glasses, and of course some gloves. Let's make sure the engine is cool, and let's start off with disconnecting the battery. Replacing a water pump is primarily easy. Just a few simple bolts will take it off the engine and put it right back on. But engine cooling is so much more. Engine cooling is a system, so treat it as such. As you can see here, we have the cooling system components laid out. We have the radiator, belts, hoses, thermostats, thermostats housings, coolant, and of course the water pump and fan clutch. All these components need attention and should be viewed for any sort of signs of wear or degradation and be replaced as necessary for proper cooling restoration. As you can see, the radiator is filled with debris. We even got a moth down there. Hoses and belts are similar. They can have signs of oxidation and hairline cracks. If you see any of this, make sure to replace the belts and hoses. Look for signs of corrosion in the thermostat and thermostat housing. This shows that the coolant was less than optimum when running through the system. The tensioners can lose their tension or become stuck. This can cause force on the water pump and the belt system. Replace as necessary. The water pump itself can show signs of pit marks, which can be exploding bubbles in the cooling system. That indicates a leak somewhere in the system, probably from the radiator cap. Also, if the water pump has black marks or black corrosion on it, it could be a sign of electrolysis, where there is a current running through the system and getting into the coolant. Review the electrical system and make sure there are no unground wires causing this electrolysis. The fan clutch can become unbalanced as well, causing a vibration or a wobble that can affect the shaft on the water pump. Replace is necessary as well. The fan clutch mounts to the nose of the water pump and operates on the same shaft. It too needs to be replaced at the same time as the water pump, or it can cause more trouble down the road. So as you can see, a water pump replacement is more than just five bolts. There are many different components to consider, and most, if not all, of these should be replaced together. I'm Jason Murth, Product Manager for U.S. MotorWorks, and thank you for watching.